Sounds pretty good. Oh, was, <laughs> the dude just gave me a little heads up. Head nod, that's it. So I didn't record any talking while I was doing this unboxing, so I'm just recording a quick one take of uh, just me talking and explaining all this stuff. Really what I'm just trying to show is the quality of the kit here, so um, here's the downpipe. I show the, the welds a little bit, the welds look really good, everything feels really solid, it's nice thick stainless steel. Um, this is just showing the V-band. That's like. Li that's like a little adapter pipe that you can use so that the downpipe still works with your exhaust, no matter what exhaust you have. But mine is a V-band exhaust, so it doesn't really help me. Um, this is just showing the intake pipe and the welds on that. The kit doesn't come with a filter, so I had to get my own filter. That is like the little elbow uh, on the discharge pipe um, after the turbo. This is the little custom welded dump tube that comes out of the external wastegate. Um, he doesn't charge any differently if he's going to route that into the downpipe or just dump it out. Um, I chose to just dump it out because it'll be loud and uh, I don't know, it should be more fun. Here is the little turbo outlet pipe with the little nipple for the N75 valve. This is just like a little silicon coupler for um, the intake that goes right to the turbo. There's just like a bag of the clamps and uh, like lines. Um, so here's unboxing the manifold. Um, so here's the manifold. Um, I was somehow stupidly under the impression that this was going to be a tubular manifold. So seeing a cast manifold I don't know, I was just a little bit surprised, but I had them mixed up with FFE somehow, which is pretty bad considering like I spent, you know, like five grand on this kit. Um, but that was the manifold. There was the V-band for the inlet for the turbo and the inlet for the um, wastegate, which is right here. There's the tile. I think it's a 44 millimeter wastegate. Um, and then I just kind of test fit it onto the manifold just to make sure that everything fits nicely it's v-band so i mean it fits it, it's obviously going to fit nicely um that little ring just kind of slid out and then i think i just show the inside of the yeah i just show the inside of there just because i think wastegates are cool they're very simple um mechanically extremely simple but i think they're awesome here's the dump tube getting uh test fitted onto that wastegate it that's kind of how it ends up being mounted. Um, you guys will see in one of my next videos how everything mounts to the car. But everything's a, a tight fit with the uh, the prop shaft. But it does kind of go straight down. This is just the rest of the stuff that was in the, the box uh, for the wastegate. And then here is the good stuff. Here's the Garrett Turbo. Here's the G25 660. It is just as small as I thought it was gonna be. Like, I had heard these turbos are really small. Um, I mean, G25 frame, it, it's a small frame turbo, um, but I was surprised to see how small it was. Um, I needed to test if my turbo blanket was gonna fit on it because I actually had to order a couple different sizes of these. So I brought over my turbo blanket here just to see if it fits. I'm pretty sure this is like a universal T3 blanket. Um, if that's incorrect, then I'll I'll update the video right here. Um, and yeah, so here I'm getting the turbo out. So I was just like antsy to see how that fits up. So um, yeah, the. V-band fits nicely on there. Um, then here I'm just figuring out the orientation of the turbo blanket, being an idiot for a second. Okay, there we go. So on the exhaust side, it fits pretty well. Um, I mean, it was a little bit difficult to, to fit on there. 
if I'm being honest, it took me a while once the turbo was on the car to get that fully in place because right there you can see it's kind of like too big almost. It's weird. It's almost too big on the compressor side and then like the perfect size on the exhaust turbine side. Um, then here's a closer look at the turbo a little bit more. He's got the fittings already in place on the turbo. So all you really have to do is add, put the lines on after you get the turbo on the car. Here are the lines. They're just kind of like generic, like eBay lines. They're not really anything to write home about. Here I test fitted the coolant drain line. That's kind of like the orientation where it goes to get into the, the engine bay. Oh, then here I'm measuring the outer diameter of that hose because um, I had a turbo kit in the past that I actually got rid of before I even ran. That wasn't the right size. That is the right size, but in the car, um, that's going to mate up to another hard line. So you can't mate two hard lines up to each other. So I actually needed to buy a 5 8 inner diameter hose so that I could mate those up together and then a couple small clamps so that I can make that work. But you guys will see that in one of the, in the, uh, the next videos. And here I just threw that little coupler on, test fitted that for the intake. That fit well too. There were no problems with the, the outlet. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I showed. All in all, it was a high quality kit, but it just needed a few, uh, it wasn't 100% complete. It just needed a few extra things, but yeah, stay tuned. You guys will see how everything came together on the car in one of my next videos. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.